All right, how are we all doing, everyone? So, uh, welcome to the video. And yeah, I didn't have any good video ideas for today, but I think I came up with a pretty good one. So, what we're gonna be doing, you see we have eight categories here. We have assault rifles, battle rifles, and we got sniper rifles. So basically, I've chosen a gun from each of these categories that represents a different country in Europe. So we're gonna start out with the AUG A2, and the AUG A2 is an Austrian gun. So obviously, Austria is a country in Europe. And yeah, I'm just gonna go through all of these categories, use the gun for a little bit, and uh, see how we do. And I do these types of videos a lot because I'm I'm trying to like i don't use autos in my free time that often right so i kind of use these videos to see like what guns are kind of fun to use and stuff like that and i've chosen the aug a2 instead of like the a1 or the a3 because i've used the aug a2 in the past and i think i like it better than the other two i think it's a bit more underrated as well i don't see that many people use this gun or even talk about it so yeah aug a2 i think it looks cool as well Bro, I've been in the server for like a, a couple minutes before i started recording and everyone here is like really good all right, nice. But yeah, I'm gonna get crushed today. Hopefully, I can do a little bit decent. I mean, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Could be a little rusty today as well. L86. Oh, this man's flying around, bro. He just started flying out of nowhere. Bro, man, this guy's this guy's a legend. He's knifing everyone, dude. All right, he's gone. Oh, well, <laughs> rip. Rip the hacker. All right, we got one. Dude, I cannot peek. Like, there's no way. The accuracy on this gun is so good. It's crazy. Okay, same strat. Just behind this thing. All right, nice. <laughs> All right, double kill. That guy, that guy looked at me, and then he just looked away. I don't know what the strategy was there. Oh, there's a guy behind me. Oh, man, I ran out of ammo. Oh, there's more people there. I got to get over there. All right, I just swiftly stole that guy's kill. No shame in that. That guy has a BFG, I think. Anyone down here? No one down there. This gun's accuracy is so good. What was he doing? Did he try to trick shot me? I couldn't even tell because of how like how off he was. He, he wasn't even facing me. He wasn't anywhere close in fact. All right, you know what? With that, we're gonna go to the next gun. So um, for the battle rifles, I'm gonna go with the AG3. It's a Norwegian battle rifle. I'm just gonna rock whatever this setup is. It's likely not the best setup you could have, but I mean, we're just gonna go with it. So yeah, all the way from Norway. I think this is one of the only Scandinavian guns in the game. I could be wrong. I wish they had more. I don't, I don't know about any of them though. Like I just kind of think it would be cool to have more like you know sweden finland there might be a finnish gun I i'm not too sure all right this this gun does a lot of damage jeez oh my i love the sound of this gun as well i think it sounds really nice i am quite glad that they you know revamped all the sounds i think it kind of just adds a little bit of refresher to the game oh no oh no <laughs> that was not a good place to spawn i'm still alive okay there we go i died Bro, he just popped out of nowhere. What? <laughs> he, that's his strategy, isn't it? Oh my. I just really wasn't expecting that, you know? All right. The thing about this is slow fire rate. I'm not really too much of a fan. It kind of gets made up for by the damage, but like, it's kind of like a... Oh no. <laughs> of course. Of course. It's kind of like a slowish, bouncy-ish gun. I don't really know how to describe it. It's just like not what I'm used to using. You know what I mean? Oh, come on. That was a triple. That was an easy triple. Oh, what is this? What, why do I have a thousand ping? Bro, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna switch now. All right, you know what? I'm, I'm just not too fond of the Norwegians. Anyways, okay, so, all right, so I'm gonna use the L22 to represent Great Britain for the uh, carbines. And I used this gun kind of recently in my, like, British Forces video. But still a really nice gun, so, you know, we're gonna use it again. Do we have a good map after? We have, <laughs> we have the worst maps in the world. Those are, like, the three worst maps in the game. I, I, I'm not even joking. All right, there's a double. Did they change this gun? It feels so different. It feels like it shoots faster, but it has like weirdish recoil. I don't even know. It just feels a lot different though. Okay, I like it though. I really like it. All right, we're still on the multi. That's like a seven multi. All right, well, that was pretty good. I got 60 kills. Um, I think I started off really bad. I'm probably just gonna hop, sir. Oh my God, Dan joined. <laughs> good thing I'm leaving. I'm gonna go find a better lobby. All right, let's go. So I joined this desert, so that's gonna be nice. You know, it's just an all-around great map, you know? You, you can't deny that. I think we got this. I think this gun should work well for desert, especially being on, you know, like, phantoms. It's a little bit more close range when you're fighting the enemies, so we got this, you know? Oh, you know what? The one thing, though, about this gun, it doesn't go through walls at all. I don't know why. I wish it did. Then it would be so good. But, like, I've tried wall banging people, and it just doesn't do it. All right, there we go. It still kills so quickly. It just kills so quickly. You see what I'm saying? Come on, let me get this guy. Let's go, triple. All right, we got a quad. Oh, there's more. Come on, man. 
Yeah, man, this gun is just... It, oh, it's so good. Okay, I'll probably have to switch after this, unfortunately. Like, I, I would probably keep using this for... Never mind. Okay, anyways, let's switch. All right, so next gun we got is actually a shotgun. It's the Spaz-12. And the Spaz-12 is actually an Italian gun. I'm pretty sure this is the only Italian gun in the game. You know, we try to get that diversity. But yeah, I, I don't use this gun ever. Uh, I don't use shotguns in general too much, so... All right, <laughs> I like it so far, though. Oh, I forgot with the Spaz-12. You can't even see when you're shooting. Okay, sure. Yeah, that's a problem. That's a little bit of a problem. All right, let's put on this coyote sight. We can actually see through our gun now. That's a step in the right direction. I should probably put flechette on so I can, like, you know, kill people through balls. Okay. All right. Okay. Hello, dude. Hello. Okay. I think this gun has pretty good range, to be honest. All right. Okay, I forgot to put on the flechette. We'll get it next time. So far, I like it, though. So far, I think it's pretty good. Yep. Oh, come on. Okay, it didn't go through that wall, but I mean, we got a quad kill. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This guy jumps so high. How does he do that? What's with everyone jumping so high? Wh what is this? That doesn't make sense to me. All right, it didn't work. I got three hit markers and we got no kills. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to work for these kills a little bit harder than I thought I did. What? No. <laughs> Why did I just get flung there? All right, we got him. We out shotgun that guy. Oh, there's two people right here. Bro, <laughs> he took his eye off the post for like one second. All right. <laughs> All right, you know what? I I'm done with this. I, I can't stand this gun. For the scouts, I'm going to go with the MP40 to represent the Germans, you know, Germany. So this is actually like a World War II gun. So the attachments I'm putting on, you know, they make no sense. But I mean, we don't care about that. So yeah, it's supposed to be like a slower type high damage gun. So we're just going to see how this does. Hopefully I'll be better with it than the spaz because I was absolute garbage with the spaz. All right, yeah, already already getting a little bit more kills. All right, okay, the other team is much better than our team, unfortunately. So the game's about to end. They just absolutely crushed us. Holy, I did so bad that round. I kind of wish there were a little bit more of these guns where they're just a lot different from all the other guns. But yeah, okay, there's a double. All right, we got, a, we got an attachment for this. I must never use this gun. Have mercy. Okay, we somehow survived that. 16 and 2. I'm doing a little bit better than I was doing with the spaz. Oh, geez, the drop shot. That guy just disappeared. Sure. I kind of like the pace of this gun. Like, I, I didn't think I was going to like it, but... Oh, wow. That guy was such a free kill. But yeah, like, I didn't think I was going to like this gun. Just because of how slow it fires, but I'm actually liking it a lot. I just got to get over to this gas station, because, like, it's kind of where their whole team is. All right, there's one. They're never going to find me in the van. They'll never in a million years find me in this van. Bro, Germany has it figured out with this one. It's it's so good. Like, for some reason, it just it feels so nice. Okay, I got to check my kill streak. We're on a... Oh, <laughs> it's only 10. I thought it was, thought was going to be like 30. Okay, I'm pretty much out of ammo. So, 29 and 3, though. That's that's not bad. All right, so I picked up an H bar. So uh, so I have a legitimate gun because I ran out of ammo. Can I pick up? No, dude, I was gonna pick up ammo and I switched. All right, well, 33 and four. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. All right, so after Germany, we got this uh, Scar SSR rep in Belgium. I think I probably should have put some attachments on, but yeah, it's a DMR. You know, it's kind of kind of a neat gun, kind of interesting, kind of like the last one. I used to use it a bunch and haven't in a while, but I have a feeling we're gonna start doing really poorly. I gotta put some attachments on as well. Okay. Oh, he's on the crane. This could work though. This could work. Let's see where it takes us. I I just got a headshot, meaning it doesn't one shot. Head Headshot all ranges. They changed the sound of it and I don't like it very much. I think it sounded better before. I think they should have just only changed the sounds of the guns that were just repeated, you know? Kind of like all the all the M16A4s and like, I don't know, the AUGs and stuff. The SCAR SSR didn't need a sound change, I think. But, I mean, it's whatever. I don't use the gun enough to really, like, care about it that much anyways, so. I just gotta get in, like, the right position and then I think this gun will take us pretty far. It depends. Okay, that's actually two headshots, so that's good. Okay, come on, come on. I've been getting a lot of headshots, though. Like, for, for my standards, kind of a lot of headshots. What? Okay, man, just teleported. All right, you know, I think I should stay in this building. It's, like, the most safe, and it's the most central as well. Of, of course, of course, it's not the most safe. Okay, I guess we're back on the crane. It, this could be a good spot. I mean, if, if I weren't hit markering so much, it would be a, definitely a pretty decent spot. Just gotta get those headshots, you know? All right, let me see you. Come on. Oh, there you are. There you are. I like how we've taken complete control of the crane, even though the crane is on their side. Okay, 
Look at all of them just standing there. Well, not standing. They're, they're laying down, but like, yo. Oh, he got me with a BFG. What is it with people in vertical grips on their BFG? It doesn't make sense. It seems like 80% of the time someone has a grip on their BFG, it's always the vertical grip. Maybe that's because it's the first grip unlocked. I mean, don't get me wrong. You shouldn't be putting a grip on your BFG in the first place, but like, it's always a vertical grip. But yeah, anyways, I think I'm gonna switch right after I die here. The SSR, like using it, it went a lot better than I thought it would. I actually continued getting kills. For the next gun, I'm gonna go with the RPK for russia i know what you might be thinking like russia is technically two continents it's technically part of asia as well so it's not completely all europe um however i looked it up and it said that like you know 75 percent of people that live in russia are in the asian continent so yeah we're just gonna say we're just gonna consider russia as completely part of europe for today what oh my fair play on his part i don't know how he managed to do that but that was kind of insane what is he doing way over there holy that guy just survived a fall he just fell off the crane and he survived you know by the way i i think this gun is like really good not gonna lie it's pretty easy to manage it kind of seems like it has a lot of recoil at first but then you kind of get the hang of it as i miss my entire mag by the way but yeah i don't know oh that was nice this gun feels so powerful as well like just the sound of the gun in general yeah, no, it's, it's too good, man. It's too good. 88 kills. That's pretty good. I mean, a lot better than I was expecting to do, especially after that last round. We got like 30 kills. All right, so we have one more gun. I'm probably going to go ahead and find like probably a desert. So I will see you really soon. Okay, I found us a desert. And so for the last gun, we're going to be using the Hecate to represent France. And yeah, I think I might do a little bit of trick shotting. I'll probably try to get some kills as well. So yeah, like the Hecate, it's not that great in my opinion. It could be, it could be worse though. Like it's, it's definitely good damage you know it's kind of like a bfg but a little bit better but yeah i i actually kind of enjoy sniping with this when i'm like trying to you know relax because you don't really you don't really move around a bunch with this it's kind of like a camping sniper unless you want to go trick shotting which is kind of what i do usually when i use the hecate but yeah i mean <laughs> this gun's kind of scummy i'm not gonna lie just the w okay what all right i mean that should have killed him but like just the one shot torso is just kind of like it's kind of a bit scummy it's kind of hard to play against as well because like you just get frustrated when you get killed by a one shot sniper at least no one uses it though because like it's kind of high rank you pretty much never see anyone use the heck eight all right i gotta trick shot someone all right ready we got this all right <laughs> nice all right i'm gonna try to hit a good trick shot now okay that was decent that was through a wall all right i'm just trying to get a collat shot you know for the video you know Okay, that wasn't a collat shot, but it was it was a pretty bad single. Okay, there's a nice collateral. Okay, that was that was nice. Okay, well, I think I think I'm gonna end the video. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and uh yeah guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.